Welcome back to another episode of Outdoors Obsessions. Chris here, and I have a project for the day. I have recently acquired a new kayak, and I am really excited about getting that camouflaged with spray paint that I can use it while I'm going out fishing or duck hunting or scouting deer areas or getting to areas that I can forage more easily. Won't you join me as I strip down the kayak's brand new finish and apply a camouflage finish to it. We will be using a variety of supplies in this process. We'll begin by sanding off the brightly colored paint job. Once we have the paint job removed, we will apply acetone with white rags to help remove all the paint particles. We will then be using a bonding agent to prime the kayak for paint. After we have primed the kayak, we will apply our camouflage patterns. Once we've applied our camouflage, we will need to finish it with a non-glossy clear coat. We do not want this to be reflective whatsoever, but we also do not want our finished paint to chip. So for our first step in our process, I just simply need to remove any removable hardware. Unfortunately, the seat is uh, not removable, so it's just gonna have to stay put. But I can take out my wiring harness and clips, which I actually need to repair anyways. Okay, well that's everything that we can remove. So now I'm just going to hit this with a orbital sander. You could use a hand sander by hand, obviously. Um, one tip with this orbital sander, this uh, plastic coating of the kayak is not very thick. so be light and go over it multiple times if you need to and instead of going too heavy and gouging and potentially causing a crack or a puncture. Um, so I'm just going to get to head and start sanding and I am using a 120 grit sandpaper. Well, I'm pretty satisfied with the sanding job that the orbital sander did. I got the top and bottom sanded. Now I'm just going to run uh, an acetone soaked cloth uh, over the entire kayak and get all the nooks and crannies so that way it'll clean up the plastic dust off of the body and create a much better bonding area for the primer. Okay, so we're going to continue on another day. We got the top paint sand it off and we're ready for a primer. Alright, so we've already got our binding primer sprayed on. Two coats to get the top layer done. And what we're going to do is apply our lightest color as the foundation. Well, we've got the first coat done and we'll come back another day because you either can, once you apply the primer, you've got an hour to apply the foundation or wait 24 hours before applying. And so since I don't have the stencils for the cattails and the oak tree leaves and all that that I want to use, um, I'm going to come back tomorrow after this is all dried and uh, go ahead and start stenciling it in with my uh, second darker and my darkest colors. Alright, so now we're going to continue with the second lighter color and we're just going to use some big old oak leaves for that.
Now we're gonna go back through final time with our lightest color again to add a little bit of 3D pop. After we've got all three colors of our camouflage spray painted on, we're gonna add a matte, clear finishing. Do uh, anywhere from one to three coats, and the more coats, the better. So the three is better. Finished product. Slice some ducks and geese, man. Fishing, do uh, anywhere from one to three coats, and the more coats, the better. So the three is better. So the three is better.